Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new book review. How are you guys doing in the Mena Nation today? Today I have an exciting brand new review for you guys. It is for Zenith, the Andrama Saga number one by Sasha Allsberg and Leslie Cummings. This is a brand new young adult science fiction novel. Uh, the first of a series, I believe, which I'm really hoping that it's a series because this sound, the book was amazing. And I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts about it, what the book's basically about, and uh, go from there. So, uh, here's my review of Zenith by Sasha Allsberg and Lindsay Cummings. So, Zenith is basically about this uh, girl named Androma Rasella, or she's known as the Bloody Baroness. She's the leader of this all-girl uh, mercenary or pirate crew in space pretty much. This is definitely a spacefaring adventure. Uh, it's set in the Mirabel galaxy and it's about this uh, crew on the ship known as the Marauder and a, ro a routine mission of theirs goes very very wrong and they find themselves uh, working for uh, someone from Andy's past, Andromo's past someone she would have never ever in a million years wanted to see again and it brings back the painful memories of her own past and what she's running from um, and her mission takes her to a ruthless part of the galaxy where a war a galactic war split the powers that be um, and they have to go to this uh, area of space where a ruthless leader known as Nor uh, rules uh, a dying planet. Sorry about that, that was my cat jumping all over the place. Um, anyways, so this is definitely a spacefaring adventure. Um, the, the lives of everyone in the Mirabelle galaxy hang in the balance. And it really does a great job of exploring the, the moral gray area of life where the good and bad guys are not always so easily distinguishable. The way I would describe this book is if you can find the complex moral characters of Josh Whedon's Firefly series with the world building of the Mass Effect series and then you give it a young adult twist, that's what the book you would have is Zenith. Now for me, Zenith definitely set the bar very, very high for young adult books in 2018. With 2018 just getting off the ground. This book does a great job of showing what the genre is truly capable of. And it's a refreshing take on the young adult sci-fi genre because it tests the boundaries of the classic quote-unquote good and evil storyline where the heroes of the story do some very questionable things in order to achieve their own goals whereas the villains of the story have really emotional complex backgrounds that really have you feeling for them at certain points despite the bad things that they're doing um you know the my favorite character in the book is definitely the protagonist Androma or known as Andy in the book um she reminds me a lot of the the emotional part of Clary Frey from Cassandra Clare's The Moral Instruments, um, but she's also got that fearless hero heroism and uh, kick-ass persona from Zoe Walsh in um, Firefly. Um, such a refreshing uh, take on the genre because uh, so often, even in young adult books, um, you'll have a strong female protagonist surrounded by m mostly uh, men, maybe a couple of female characters here and there, but this book take flips that, and it's not just a female protagonist, but she's surrounded by an all-female crew, and the book jumps back and forth between several different female characters to show their own perspectives, how they deal with the scenario at hand. Um, it's a really refreshing um, take. On, on this really fun adventure and uh, you know at a time where stories like Guardians of the Galaxy are really becoming popular this book does a great job of showing uh, an all-female crew of pirates surviving in a very male-dominated world or galaxy 
filled with piracy and backroom politics and it's just a fun twist on the genre itself uh, and overall I think we need more books like Zenith here and more projects overall like Zenith that show just how strong female characters can be and not just alone but with other characters as well. Overall I really love this book. I could not find a single flaw with it. Uh, the writing was beautiful. Um, it's a great use of imagery. I could really picture each planet and each part of the galaxy um, th with every scene, with every page. It was like I was living this adventure with the crew of the Marauder and I felt like I was actually living these like really death-defying moments in the series um, with a really great twist in, in the plot and a huge cliffhanger that leaves you wanting more and more as you get to towards the end. Um, this was a really great introductory book into what I hope to be a really uh, fantastic series and I highly recommend you guys go get it. So if you guys haven't yet, make sure to pick up your copies of the New York Times bestseller Zenith by Sasha Allsberg and Lindsay Cummings. Get your copy today. Well, that's it for me, guys. Thank you for watching this review. In the comments below, let me know, one, have you read the book yet? What, and what did you think? And two, what is your favorite young adult sci-fi series? Leave your comments down below. As always, you can check out all my social media links down below. And if you want to see my full written review, which includes the links to buy the book, those links are all down below in the description box. Check them out. Um, I haven't talked about this yet on YouTube, but for a lot of you who are on YouTube or our small YouTube channel, you know that uh, very soon um, we're not going to be able to be in the creator program. Uh, I have over 10,000 views in the last year, but they also require you to have 1,000 subscribers. Right now I have 572 at last count. So it would really mean a lot to me if you guys could subscribe to my channel. I know I ask that all the time, but um, with the clock ticking down, um, I would love to continue doing videos here on YouTube and uh, continue working as I have been for the last few years. So um, if you guys haven't yet and you're watching this video, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me if you did. And uh, yeah, that's everything. Thanks for watching, guys. And tune in for the next video as I get ready to review a brand new nonfiction series. So. I'll see you then, and remember, Vina Nation, keep hashtag hope alive. I'll see you next time. Long days and pleasant nights, my friends.